Well, Razorback fans, you were waiting for the very first pop for John Calipari and to be making it with the transfer portal. And he got him some big Z. So let's talk about it on today's Locked On Razorbacks podcast. You are Locked On Razorbacks, your daily podcast on the Arkansas Razorbacks, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And welcome into the Locked On Razorbacks podcast. I am your host, John Neighbors. I am also the host of the John Neighbors Show, which you can catch every weekday afternoon from 4 to 6 on Natty State Sports and nattystatesports.com. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets guaranteed. That's $150. Bucks. Win or lose, visit fanduel.com slash locked on to get started. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday as uh, Arkansas has a few things happening in the baseball, basketball, football, all those things. It's a, it's a crazy time right now, especially for basketball, but nice little news that came uh, on a Monday night because people kept wondering, when is Coach Cal going to have his very first big-time commitment? When is it actually going to transpire? How's it going to look? Well, you didn't have to wait very long. Actually, you did. You had to wait, it seemed like, eons until it actually happened. But they received a commitment from, and I have a pronunciation pronunciation sheet in front of me, Zvonimir Isovich. Big Z. That's the only time I'm going to pronounce it, and that is how it's going to go. Big Z, 7'2", 235-pound center from Croatia, who was on the Kentucky basketball team this past season as a true freshman. Uh, he only saw the, uh, saw the floor 15 games this past year due to the NCAA's lengthy examination of his eligibility, as Scotty Bordelon says on Natty State Sports. Uh, according to The Athletic, because Avicevic, I'm going to say it, Big Z, Big Z played for a professional team in Europe. He needed to provide sufficient proof that he maintained amateur status by not receiving compensations beyond necessary expenses. And when he entered into the transfer portal, he is considered to be the number 37 player in the transfer portal. He had 18 points, five rebounds, and four blocks in 20 minutes when Kentucky beat Alabama, smoked Alabama earlier in the year. So that was nice. So he had that. And he also had, uh, when he played against Arkansas, ironically enough, had 12 points, nine rebounds, two blocks, and one steal in that particular game. He averaged only five and a half points per game, 3.3 rebounds, and 1.3 blocks in 11.7 minutes per game. So you're talking about the, looking at the stats overall. And, 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 you, and you just see the averages and everything. You're like, oh, five and a half points, three rebounds, and, and a block and a half. Ooh, whoop de doo Well, take into consideration, he only played about 11, 12 minutes a game last year. So sh shooting 58% from the field, and he hit six of 16 from three-point land was very nice. But, you know, this is, this is a great get. And I actually want to read the message that he put out. Because I think that there's a fascination behind it. Like Joe Tipton and everybody was on top of this as far as uh, what, it all, what it all came to be and how it all went down. But Big Z put out a message on social media. And I think this is very classy of him, but also kind of a, a little bit of a telling thing, a little bit of a flex if you're a Razorback fan. It says, today I met with Coach Pope and had a great meeting with him. He's an amazing guy and a great coach, and he will do big things here. After our conversation, I informed him that I will not be returning to Kentucky. Big Blue Nation, my amazing teammates, I love you, and this has been the best experience a kid from Croatia could ask for coming to the U.S. You took me as one of your own since the first moment, and the love just grew. From the billboard to countless other things you've done to show love, I mean, come on, who does that? I will forever be grateful for that, and it will have a special place in my heart. With all that being said, I made the lifetime decision to come to college for a few reasons. Main ones, to win a national championship and go to the NBA. Monumental part of that decision was Coach Cal, and no one does both of those at the same time more than him. That's why I'm excited to announce that I'm committing to Coach Cal in the Arkansas Razorbacks, woo, pig, suey. How about that? First off, shout out to him for spelling woo, pig, suey right. There's two O's. That's the way it's supposed to be. I know this U of A uses three. It's only two. But how 
fun is that? And how fun is that to hear it there in that message where he's like, hey, he handled it with class, talking about Kentucky, the greatness that came along with it, the fun that it provided and how thankful he was for it, said all the right things. But then when he's talking about winning a national championship and going to the NBA being his two reasons why he came to this country, he's like, Coach Cal, is who, it, it, that's who does it. It's not Kentucky. It's not Mark Pope. Again, not being an insult. But when it comes to that mentality, he sees Coach Cal in Arkansas the best place for him to get him to the NBA and to win a national championship. So if you're a Razorback fan and you hear that, you got to be just tickled with pride because that, that's exactly what you want to hear from players like that, especially when all the flexes have been happening from Kentucky fans and other people kind of trying to dunk on you during this time. It's like, no, you uh, you got something going for you right now. And it was just a matter of waiting and seeing when it actually happens. And once it happened, there you go. That's how you wanted it to be. So with him being a commitment now, you have one player on the roster, which is nice, one scholarship player at least. And I have a pretty good feeling that this is going to open up a floodgate for more. If you go to NatiStateSports.com, you can see some of the players that Arkansas is in the mix for. You can see who they're looking at, how they're looking at it. Some of the players that could be of curiosity and other ones that, you know, may at least have some interest, may have an official visit, whatever it may be. But still, this is exactly what you wanted to see and how it starts. He is officially a Razorback, and yeah, there's going to be like DJ Wagner has entered into the transfer portal. He'll be one to watch. He's a Kentucky transfer. What about Thero? He's another transfer from Kentucky that's entering the portal. Think about uh, some of the McDonald's All-Americans out of high school that are committed to Kentucky that people are still waiting on. The point is, this is what you've been waiting for. A player of that caliber, a player of that interest, and a player that can be able to add something to the mix immediately the second he steps on campus. Just call him Big Z, folks. If you try to pr pronunciate, uh, get the pronunciation right, I understand it. I understand you want to do it, and who knows, maybe eventually I'll do it. Ivisic. Ivisic? Ivis? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Big Z. Big Z to the Arkansas Razorbacks. Coach Cal already striking the board getting after it and getting hot with it. So uh, excited to see how all that plays out. Folks, it's playoff time and in the NBA and in the NHL, and baseball's in full swing, and FanDuel is the one place to bet on every game. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets guaranteed. That's $150 bucks, win or lose. Bet on everything from slap shots to home runs to slam dunks, all on an app that is safe, secure, and super easy to use. So what are you waiting for? Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and make your first bet an automatic win with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. We're also really excited to be here on the Locked On Raise Your Rex podcast with a whole new sponsor. And listen, we've all been there, either as a player or as a fan. It's halftime and the scoreboard is not looking good. We've definitely been there for Razorback fans. If you're feeling low, low and not sure how you or your team can pull out the win, that's when you dig deep, lift your head up, and say to yourself, time to get back in the game. Pull off some bank heist and take as much of my friend's money as possible <laughs> as I can. That's right. The smash hit mobile game Monopoly Go lets you compete with your friends to get the most riches in the biggest empire. It's the Monopoly you love, but on your phone. Anytime, with tons of new twists, including leaderboards, to compare your progress to all your buddies. There's so much to do. Play countless the dynamic on Monopoly boards. Make your friends bankrupt by smashing their landmarks with a wrecking ball. Charge other players for rent for your iconic properties and so much more. You can even work with, with your friends to crack open community chests and tournaments to get extra rewards and climb the leaderboard today. So get back out there. Put on your game face. Download the Monopoly Go app right now for free on the App Store or Google Play. You are locked on Razorbacks. Your daily podcast on the Arkansas Razorbacks, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. 
All right, so moving on into the next segment of the Locked On Razorbacks podcast, uh, some football news and some transfer news, which shouldn't necessarily be a surprise to many of you, especially if you've been listening to the Locked On Razorbacks or even checking out Natty State Sports. But according to reports, Arkansas quarterback Jacoby Criswell will enter into the NCAA transfer portal after just one season with the program. Uh, he is a native of Moralton, for those you may not have known, but he is originally a four-star recruit and the number two player in Arkansas. And uh, he was the 23rd best quarterback in the class back in that 24-7 spin uh, or that cycle. Griswold spent three years with North Carolina and then played two seasons there, redshirted his third, and then came to Arkansas and played this past season. Uh, as a transfer, got a few run. As uh, He appeared in four games, had 17 completions for 143 yards, and three touchdowns. So not surprising. Him and Isaiah Gustav both entered into the transfer portal. And I'll, I'll admit, like seeing this from Criswell has people feeling a certain way. You know, I, I've always looked at it when you have a, a product on the field that is a certain style or being of a certain system, you need to stick with that as much as possible. And I remember when Criswell came to Arkansas at the time when you had Danny Enos taking over as the OC, and it, it felt like it was the, the perfect story coming together. A kid that is going to be able to stand behind K.J. Jefferson as a backup, learn the system, put in place, and then take over into the starting role the next year. There's always something special about those in-state kids and at the quarterback position. To when they do take over, it just means something more. Which, let's be honest, Arkansas's had a good run of those types of quarterbacks. You think about the Allen brothers, Tyler Wilson, Matt Jones, Ryan Mount. I know he was from Texarkana, Texas, but he was an Arkansas kid. We all know that. Uh, Barry Lunny. You know, there were quite a few in the history of Arkansas that played the quarterback position from the state, and it always meant something special. So I'll admit it was a little bit disappointing to see that it just didn't fully work out with Jacoby Criswell. And it was definitely not the situation that he wanted to find himself in. How crazy it is from just a year ago and essentially when Criswell transferred in, how it all seemed in front of you. And this is kind of the, the point I want to make. In college sports, you think like you have a plan. You know, if you're Criswell, you, you leave North Carolina where you're under Mac Brown, who has had great success as, as coaching quarterbacks, high-level success. You do that, you see what they do, and you can't break through because of Sam Howell or whoever. The quarterbacks over there in North Carolina are really good. But you have opportunities to go elsewhere. You know, Criswell originally didn't come to Arkansas because of the Chad Morris era, which I, would, I don't blame him. I wouldn't have come here either. But... Because of that fact, he had this opportunity now to come back, and he's like, okay, I see it. I see the situation now. They need a backup quarterback. I have been in college football now for three years. It's my hometown, my home school, my home state. They got an offense coordinator that wants me, a quarterback coach that wants me. I'm sure he was sold on the idea that he would learn under KJ, and then it would be his role going into the next year. And it was all set. It was all such a perfect thing, a perfect match, a perfect setup. And then the season came along, as we all know, and it didn't go well. Arkansas lost quite a few games. Criswell stepped in after KJ and played fine, but the offense coordinator got fired in the middle of the year. The quarterback coach got fired in the middle of the year. And there was a lot of uncertainty. And then Petrino, Bobby Petrino, gets hired as the OC and quarterback's coach, and he comes stepping in. I don't know how Criswell felt about Petrino coming in, but one of the moves that was made pretty early and pretty quickly, and it's been established because Petrino said as much, is that Sam Pittman said, hey, go get yourself a quarterback out of the portal. Go get who you want. It's like, okay. So he went and got Taylor Green. And then spring ball happens, and Taylor Green's QB1. And that does not change. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just trying to look at it from Criswell's situation where it's like, man, 
all the things that I thought were going to be planned out, all the ways I felt like it was going to be planned out, it didn't happen. It didn't go at all according to plan. But that being said, it's one of the benefits that he can have of going into the current state of college football, college sports, and entering into the transfer portal to be immediately eligible elsewhere. I wish Jacoby Criswell nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. In-state kids always mean more. They always, you always root for them a little bit more. But at the end of the day, you want to play. And this is now his, he just concluded his fourth year of college. Heading into his fifth year, he wants to go somewhere where he can play. And I don't blame him. Go there, wherever it ends up being. Try your hand at it. Try to find success, and hopefully you do. But that's just the name of the game, and it's just the way that college sports are in general. So wish him nothing but the best of luck. It looks like, at least at this point in time, I would assume uh, Malachi Singleton will be QB2, be the backup. I think that's apparent. But I'll say, K.J. Jackson, man, I really liked his stuff. He looked really good. Just the part, his size, his arm strength, his athleticism. He seems like a guy that could mold into that role and do really, really, really well at it. So I, I, I'm i excited about it. I'm excited about the quarterback situation. I'm excited to see what these quarterbacks are. And just to be honest, Taylor Green, I really hope he stays healthy the whole season. I 100% hope he stays healthy the whole season. But as we know, things happen. And odds are he's going to have an injury or get banged up to where a backup's going to have to come in. I just hope whoever it ends up being is going to be capable of it and going to be ready for that big moment. But before we get to the final segment, folks, i got to tell you about LinkedIn. When you're hiring for your small business, you want to find quality professionals that are right for the role. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs has the tools to help you find the right professionals for your team faster and for free. Now, they're not just a typical job board. LinkedIn helps you hire professionals that you can't find anywhere else, even those who aren't actively looking or searching for a new job. It might be open to a perfect role, and in any given month, over 70% of LinkedIn users don't visit other leading job sites because they have it all there at LinkedIn. So if you're not looking at LinkedIn, you're looking at the wrong place. On LinkedIn, 86% of small businesses get a qualified candidate within 24 hours. Hire professionals like a professional on LinkedIn. LinkedIn knows that small businesses are wearing so many hats, and it may not have the time or the resources to do any of the hiring, and that's why they are constantly finding ways to make the process so much easier. for So post your job for free at linkedin.com slash college. That's linkedin.com slash college to post your job for free. Terms and conditions do apply. You are Locked On Razorbacks, your daily podcast on the Arkansas Razorbacks, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. All right, so final segment here on the Locked On Razorbacks podcast. No basketball was uh, getting all the news with their big commitment, but Arkansas football also got another commitment uh, from the Sam Pittman side of things as Jaden Shelton, J.J. Shelton, as they call him, uh, officially commits to Arkansas. He's a linebacker, six foot and a half. I love that. Uh, 200 pounds. He's part of the 2025 class. He's out of Dallas, Texas at South, South Oak Cliff. Uh, he's a three-star player, uh, the number 67 linebacker in the country and the number 100th best player in Texas. And he had offers to other places like Baylor, SMU, TCU, and Arizona State. Now, some of you are going to see that, and you're like, hey, what, you know, what does that mean? How does that look? Uh, okay, cool, three-star linebacker. Oh, that's, that's all well and good. It's all great. Who, who, who cares? What does it mean? Well, here's the thing. You've got to add some depth. And... You know, there's times where you see kids, especially from the state of Texas, coming into Arkansas, like the recruiting pipeline there. Is he going to move the needle? Is he going to shake things up? Is he going to change the game from the linebacker position for Arkansas? Probably not. I mean, I'm not going to go out on that limb. But the recruiting classes are always very important. And since he's got a whole full season in front of him to play, the, these could be types of players, too, that could move up into the rankings and you know really show out in their senior year and really showcase their abilities 
and be able to step out. But I like the fact that Arkansas is at least addressing needs. They got needs. They're addressing needs. They're making the needs happen. And so this is just perfect for what Arkansas has been, let's say, desperately needing. But they've been needing some added depth. They've been needing some added depth in that position. So good to know that uh, Arkansas football is still getting after him. He was at the spring game this past week, which, you know, they had a few recruits there. I got to, got to talk to a few recruits. Got to talk to Tay Lockett. Shout out to him, him and his dad. Uh, so it was good to good to catch up with him. But, yeah, still trying to build stuff, still trying to get things going, still trying to make it all work. So kudos for Sam Pittman and the Razorback football team. Appreciate everybody listening in and watching into the Locked on Razorbacks podcast. Be sure to like and subscribe to the podcast on iTunes or on Google Play. You can also get after me on Twitter at John Neighbors Show for any questions, comments, concerns that you may have. We'll keep it going from there. Same podcast time, same podcast channel tomorrow afternoon. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you then.